friends, it is me. Um, I, <laughs> I'm just gonna do a weekend vlog. I'm gonna try this out and see if I can have the motivation to film and edit this and all that jazz. Um, I don't have to work today, it's Friday. I do have to work tomorrow and Sunday, but hopefully I can maybe get some reading in to actually provide content for this vlog, but we'll see. Um, as you can see, we're at a different angle because I rearranged my room. So, um, originally my bed was on the other side of this camera, but I moved it to face the back towards this window. So I, um, can have more room on this side of my room because eventually when I get bookshelves, I want to put it over in this wall. I'll show you like a clip of the area after I'm done with my little clip here. Um, and I put my TV on that side as well. And then I'm like, now I'm next to this desk, which I'm going to get rid of um, this coming week because I just bought a new desk that's coming in on Tuesday. So I plan on putting that together and then I'll hopefully have a new prettier desk. <laughs> that Because uh, I've had this desk since I was in high school. So it's honestly on its last leg now where it's just like wobbly and it's going to fall apart. And I just don't want to do it while it's still in my room. So that is my plan. Um, but I just finished Famous in a Small Town, which I'm so excited about. I actually really enjoyed this story. Um, it was so funny and so, like, deeper than you would think. So, like, when you first start the story, it starts off, um, about this girl who she spends this summer in a small town. And the small town's only famous because of this singer that went on this, like, singing competition and she wrote her initial like first album about this small town she was from and so that's why they're famous so every like they have like little museums dedicated to the singer and stuff like that so it starts off with her like her coming up with this plan trying to come up with money for her band her marching band at her school because uh they got picked to go to the rose bowl and so they need to fundraise money to be able to go well it's like it's interesting because the story starts out with that plan so you think it's about that and then she also meets this new guy who moves to town so you think it's kind of like about her trying to raise this money and like beat this guy but then as you get further into the story you realize like that's not that's initially kind of what started this spark but it's it it's much deeper like you learn more about the characters in this book and you learn like more in depth about each of them and I liked that because like they weren't just like one dimensional side characters either like each character had something that really like you learned about in this story and I don't know I just really enjoyed it and I liked the way that the characters were built and how she had the story flowing and everything so I definitely recommend this if you're looking for an Emma Mills read like if you haven't started any of her books this is a good one to start with um, I also, if you're looking for a good summer read or just a good contemporary, I definitely recommend this too. So yeah, so that's my, that's, that's what I was doing. I read that and then, um, I don't know what I'm going to start yet. Next, um, I'm looking at my journal now because I was filling some things in and like, I have a good chunk of stuff on this DBR that I need to get through. Um, I may start maybe a fantasy <laughs> or maybe i'll touch one of the books um for my asian readathon because one of them well two of them are manga so maybe i'll do those next instead i have no idea but i'll definitely let you know um i'm gonna go film my august or august wrap up my april wrap up and i will check in with you all later okay bye
friends, it is me. I just got back home from work. It is Monday. I tried not to talk as much in this vlog just because I wanted it to be a relaxing like weekend vlog. So hopefully that uh, came through and it ended up being okay. So yeah, um, whew, sorry I'm out of breath. I just ran up the stairs. <laughs> Side note, I got my first fairy loot box. So stay tuned for that, like my first ever fairy loot unboxing. I'm excited because I've never gotten one and so I'm excited to see what's in here because I don't know. <laughs> Whew. Sorry, deep breath. Also, we got a lot of news today. There's gonna be a new Twilight book. I'm so excited. The best way for me to explain this is Twilight is my Harry Potter. Like I know a lot of people started reading because of Harry Potter. I started reading because of Twilight. So the fact that it's like 12 years later and Stephanie Meyer just came out and saying she's gonna finally release Midnight Sun. I'm so excited. I like could cry because I just have so many good memories with this series and just so many good moments. And I admit there are some problematic moments now that I'm older and like, know things better but I still am gonna love that series no matter what just because it did bring me a lot of good memories and it just it helped me through a really tough time in my life so yeah <laughs> I am so excited though um me and Chanel from Chanel time decided that we're gonna do a read-along in June so uh, she even created a Twitter page. So if you're interested in rereading Twilight with us or the whole entire series with us, uh, follow us on that Twitter page. I will probably put a link down below or something. And yeah, I'm so excited. Like everybody was excited about Hunger Games. I'm excited about this Twilight book. Also, I'm super excited because in the, in the website letter, it mentioned something about a book tour. And I'm like, am I gonna get to get a Stephanie Meyer book signed in the year of 2020 or 2021. Is that possible? If it is, I'm gonna cry because that's a dream come true. Because the, before I like wasn't old enough to be able to go to book signings without relying on my parents. I didn't even know what book signings were because I got into her books so late. But now I'm like, oh my God, I might even get to meet the queen herself. And I'm just so excited. So yeah, I'm gonna stop fangirling because I definitely need to end this vlog. But holy shit, man, I, uh, it's just so many emotions. And sorry for all those people who don't like Twilight and have all the issues with it for like gushing and talking about it all the time. But just like, just all the things. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. Okay.